trimming. Trimming is a part of trees, to be more precise, a part of modern trees. It became a standard practice of trees, it became a standard chapter of, of trees like maybe 10 or, 10 or 20 years ago. What is inside of this chapter? It starts with functional model. So first you have to perform functional analysis and to end up with the functional model that clearly shows you the, the architecture of system, what are the elements and what are the functions of those elements. Dreaming is about of a systematic tool to make your system simpler. So trimming is a combination of rules, how to, to get rid of some elements that are not so necessary, that could be substituted, and its function could be delegated to other elements of the technical system. And so in a way, it's a kind of systematic tool to generate ideas how to uh, modify system in such a way it becomes simpler. The simpler, the better. Typical, typical application of a trimming tool is a cost reduction projects because in cost reduction projects typically if you get rid of some element that the system becomes cheaper or the system becomes easy to manufacture. Trimming can be applied um, for modifying, for making system, uh, simpler a system or for making simpler a process in a way or technology. So it, uh, some elements of the process could also be trimmed in order to make this, uh, the process simpler and cheaper. I will try to, to discuss a history of this concept, and these are my own speculation. Uh, Einstein said once, make everything as simple as possible, but not simpler. And this is the heart of the trimming, I would say. So you have to remove all elements while still keeping the system functioning. So if you make it even more simpler, then possibly the system crashes. Uh, for me, as a person who was challenged with some mathematical background, I would say that the direct link of trimming is model reduction. When, let us assume, we have a kind of system that is described by a set of equations, preferably differential equations, and you try to get rid of those differential equations because there are too many. So you keep the smallest amount of equations to describe the process pretty well, or to control the process pretty well. And this smallest amount of equations that are critical for describing the process with appropriate, uh, let's say, accuracy should be called like the trimmed system because you got rid. So initially the model was consisted of 100 equations, but you realize that you can do the same with the five equations. So you have trimmed 95 equations. The system becomes trimmed or it's a trimmed model. The history of the concept itself as I think starting from the concept of functional model. So we have to be grateful to the same group of people who introduced functional model into modern trees. And there were the group of uh, students of Alshuler. Again, some bridges, some links of this concept of trimming or the method of trimming to other parts of trees or some parts of design or design evaluation outside of trees. We'll start with the chapters of trees. Of course, it is functional modeling. Of course, it's the main, let's say, uh, departure point for trimming. You cannot do trimming if your functions are not well defined. So you, you, functional modeling is a kind of uh, the main input for, for, for trimming. But we could also find some deep links of trimming to ideal final result or ideality increase in, from the trend of engineering system evolution tests. So we believe that when we trim one element after another element, the system becomes more ideal in a way. So the system evolves toward its ideality. Because once we have trimmed everything, the system doesn't exist. But if function is performed, then it is ideal. We could also find some links to uh, the trend of uh, idealist uh, uh, functionality increase. How it works? Uh, the system has a kind of natural, natural way to evolve acquiring some functions. So the system acquires another function, then another function, then another function, and the uh, system becomes a kind of Frankenstein. Trimming is a stage, natural stage in system evolution, which, uh, that when, when those functions somehow like 
they, they, is a convolution of functions. And the convolution happens when you trim some elements that uh, are not needed anymore or could be, could be used for all this kind of Franken style. Let's assume, ah, oh, we introduce a couple of functions and there are cooling fans in both of them. So one cooling fan could be trimmed. So this, is, this part of system evolution could be also associated with somehow with, uh, with, with trimming. And the contradiction elimination. Typically, it is assumed that when we eliminate some element, then contradiction could be killed as well. Because if the element was a region of some harmful action or was a recipient of some harmful action, it's so natural to trim it. And then we don't need it anymore and we don't have it anymore and there is no contradiction. So no element, no problem, as some dictator said. Uh, so these are the links of trimming concepts to other chapters of trees. And I said the most important functional modeling trends of engineering system evolutions, uh, evolution, namely uh, ideality increase, uh, trend, uh, trend of dynamization or trend of uh, functionality increase. And uh, ideal final result, of course. And uh, uh, what else? Contradiction, contradiction analysis, because eliminating contradicting uh, is typically referred as uh, eliminating of, of a physical element very often. links of the concept of trimming to some other elements of design outside of trees. I would, uh, I would immediately mention here part count and I would also mention here uh, model reduction. What about part count? Uh, part count is a uh, performance, uh, design performance tool which just bluntly counts amount of elements the design consist is consisting of. Uh, it is assumed that the fewer amount of elements, uh, the better design. That is 100% uh, true as far as, for example, uh, simplicity is considered or functionality is not, not necessarily functionality, but manufacturability is considered. In design for manufacturing assembly, it is considered as one of the basic statement and axiom. The fewer amount of parts, the easier manufacture and assemblies. That is definitely very logical. Uh, there is another more elegant, let's say, or more, 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 more interesting uh, complex method of uh, evaluation of design that is called Pew complexity factor. And Pew multiplies uh, amount of elements or each element to by the amount of links of each element to another element of, a of an engineering system. What are the links of trimming to model reduction? Well, I, it has already been said in the history part that when you have a huge amount of equations describing the model of your process or your product you are analyzing, then it is so good to try to reduce this model. And this problem typically happens in, for example, in finite element modeling. When we bluntly introduce a mesh to a, to a, to a product, to an element of assembly, then it could be millions of components. So millions of equations are engaged in order to describe, so for example, some stress distribution or behavior of a, of, of, of a mechanical part in a, in a time. And if you need, uh, for example, um, e uh, online control or online analysis of some part, then it is uh, technically very hard to manage this kind of calculations. So it's so natural to try to reduce the model you, you use to describe uh, the, the, your system. And for example, if you uh, keep your performance uh, the same, that would mean, for example, the, the behavior of system at low frequencies. So if you have just, I don't know, some, some range of frequencies in which the performance of system has to be this, is to be the same then definitely you can reduce the this this amount of equations that you use to describe it so the links of trimming concept or the the let's say the underlying ideas that is used for trimming are in part counts or in model reduction Trimming. Conclusions about this part of modern trees. Trimming starts with a functional model. In functional model you have a kind of true picture of functioning of all elements of engineering system. Trimming is a kind of uh, <coughs> systematic tool to get rid of one element after another element, making system simpler and therefore cheaper, easy to manufacture or easy to maintain. There are certain rules how to delegate functions of the trimmed element. Rule A rule B and rule C. When you cut, when you eliminate one element after another, you are moving toward ideality. 
if you trim the whole system that the system is ideal, there is no system but the function is insured. If the product treats itself or there is no need for function or the product is treated by the super system. What is good about trimming? It is a nice systematic tool, as other tools of trees, to have a kind of guided brainstorming. What we can do with this model? Is it doable to make system like this? Is it doable to get rid of this element? Is it doable to get rid of another element? And so on and so on. And it's a kind of, uh, let's say, controlled way to uh, make your system simpler. If you feel uh, a kind of shy, you can get rid of one element or two elements, but if you feel more aggressive, you can get rid of, I don't know, 50% of elements or 70% of elements. That sometimes could result in huge savings and reduction. These are benefits of trimming, of systematic tool to make system simpler.